Well, this one is going to be a different one. Welcome to the start of a very, very, very long vlog slash <laughs> trip. We're here in beautiful old England in my home site, Hazelwood Ski World, and the car is packed and ready to rumble. Chairs, everything's in there. We are going to be driving across the channel, well, obviously on a ferry, all the way down to Domartin, France, in the old trusty steed of a Volvo. Going to be driving myself, meeting some guys down there, and it's going to be a fun trip. This whole Europe trip, I'm doing pretty much in this car, so it is going to be exciting. Mum's let me steal a baby for a few weeks and it is going to be the start of a very good time. Let's get rocking and rolling. It's 4.35ish. I was meant to leave an hour ago. Like me, classically, I'm late. So I think it's probably going to be a good idea for me to explain what the hell's going on for this whole trip. We have five weeks, six tournaments. I think it's five weeks, about four weeks, somewhere in there. A lot of tournaments in that amount of time. I'm now obviously driving down to France to the first event that's going to be the Don Martin Pro-Am, the Fungless Pro-Am, whatever you want to call it. 30,000 euros, men only. It's going to be a fun time. It's going to be a big event for me and um, yeah. Fingers crossed it goes well. After that, it kind of gets a mess. I drive down to Nice, sleep this car at the airport, fly to Botas, fly back, do on the Wednesday rock brew, the Saturday drive to Lacanau, do the Lacanau French Malibu Open Cup, drive home, fly to Greece, fly to Italy, and then that is essentially the part of the European tour. So it's gonna be chaos. It's a lot of stuff going on in a short period of time, but it's gonna be so much fun. Basically for the whole trip, me and Jamie Bull are gonna be traveling together along with Will Asher, John Travis, Ali Garcia and a little bit of Ali Nicholson in there so it's gonna be a great group a lot of fun and I cannot wait to get rolling however this fun glass it's just gonna be me for the start of the journey until I meet up with them in Botas. First gas of the trip failed one pence over damn it I think that's gonna be a common theme expensive fuel Oof. so just had to pull over and see possibly one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in England just a castle lit by beautiful sunlight a castle that's probably been there for over a thousand years ferries coming in the background just one of the things that you don't get to experience if you drive from big city to big city is these cute little towns by the sea pretty cool to see but onto food onto hotel it's late um, and I want to go to bed because we have a long day tomorrow. Well, that brings an end to day one, three and a half hour drive, complete food eaten, cheap ah. Nando's, everything that I own on charge, ready for the long drive ahead tomorrow. We'll be up bright and early at 6 a.m. for the ferry to Calais tomorrow morning and finish off the seven hours that is left of the drive. See you guys in the morning. It's going to be a long day. Good morning. It is early. And off we go. All right, so day two, it's six o'clock. I'm actually kind of on time, about 6.20. Today's ferry day, it's a three minute drive to the ferry. And then we're off. Let's go see the seagulls. Hello. Thank you. Now all we're gonna do is check in and it's harder than you would think. Last time we came here, we had the wrong day booked. So fingers crossed, we booked the right day this time. Hello. Uh, let's pull up, sorry. Thank you. Oh, missed that one. Thank you. Well, that was quite easy. Oh, gonna get hit by a lorry. Need to focus. Well, to the ferry we go. And we're off. That's the one thing I miss about England is the English breakfast. This one, but it's better than nothing. With you, the sun is shining 24-7. So you think gas prices are expensive in the US right now? Ooh. Essentially, I just paid $2 a litre or $8 a gallon. So yeah. It's the, the French cuisine at its finest moment. It's a road trip, right? We're trying to get on the road quick. Only been in France three hours. It's already ruined itself to make me pay for barbecue sauce. Either way, food down. Three hours and a bit down. Three hours to go. I know this has only been like 30 seconds for you, but... 30 minutes away, nearly there, nearly at a lake. I've gone through nearly every single one of my snacks that was meant for like three weeks. So that's gone well. It's currently 4.30 French time. So we're kind of on time. The whole trip's taken about six and a half hours driving, maybe six hours driving, and obviously the two hours on the ferry. So win, win all round. But let's get to that lake now. And we have arrived the beautiful Fungalist Pro-Am in Domantin. This place is such a beautiful sight in the farmlands of France. Not much to be seen around a few little towns where we're staying. I am very excited for this weekend. It's Thursday, so obviously I'm gonna ski tomorrow and Friday. But now let's get some dinner, go check into the Airbnb, and then go to bed, because I am dead. Right, 
that is the end of day one. Practice day, getting food, figuring out the situation. Quick, quick recap, I slammed really, really well. Five at 41, and yeah, just a kind of an insane start to the day. Don't do that too often, so it was a lot of fun. But obviously it's not tournament, so it doesn't really matter, but the place felt insane. I watched Nate Smith rock up off a plane and run 41, which was rather impressive. And um, yeah, it was just a fun day. I chilled at the lake. There is no service here. I have absolutely nothing all the time. So it's kind of nice to be completely disconnected and just spend the day chilling with great people at the lake and enjoying it. So we're gonna head back to the house, chill for a second, take a shower, get some food, and then yeah, restart the day. It is the big day tomorrow, prelims, eight people make it through. Let's do it. Time to rock and roll. Sun is out, blue skies up ahead. It's gonna be a beautiful day. It's about 10 o'clock now, I'll be skiing in about an hour and a half-ish. Fingers crossed, let's, let's do good. Also, it's my birthday, so be solid for a nice little birthday. Three, four, 41? That'd do for a present, but we shall see. And we're sitting in this little cool Airbnb. Very French, very small, very petite. And it's literally a two minute drive from the lake. So that's pretty cool. So I can come backwards and forwards. It's got no AC, slight problems in like 90 degree heat for you Americans or 30 degree heat for Europeans. So it's pretty toasty. However, it's very close. It's very convenient. Lake time. All right, so here's the start list. So not a massively packed field as things go, but there's still quite a few boys up at the top that are gonna cause some damage. So first goal is the finals, probably gonna be a two at 41 at most. So that's the goal right now. Get across that two or three, get the first round in, but get the gates like normal. All those earlier passes have to be legit. The lake's perfect, but that's when they catch you out. So I'm up in about three and yeah, let's give it a rumble. Seems like this year we have one good tournament, one bad one, one good one, one bad one. Fortunately, we seem to have hit a bad round there. I just felt so good, 32, 35, 38. First few passes, could not run them any better. Early, balanced. And then 39, I got okay gate. Fell over a little bit on the turn in. And then fell over at the one ball again. Managed to hold it. Lost my hips a little bit, but it was all good. And just the biggest two ball of my life that I've ever held. Huge. Got a massive lean lock. Got pulled out of it at the wakes. Managed to hold on. Straight to three ball. Handle got pulled out of my hands. And that was it for the first round. So two and a half at 39. <sighs> But hey, let's go eat some baguette and ham and cheese, cheer up, and come back for round two. Very French. All right, round two. Kind of hoping that it can't go much worse than earlier. I'm sure it can, but I've been skiing well lately, so hopefully that's just kind of a one-off little mistake. Didn't get the best gate, didn't get the best one, and hopefully it's just one of those to learn from, but um, we'll see how today goes. Gonna need to get through 39, I assume, to make myself safe, but that should be the goal anyway, so to the lake we go. Conditions, as you can see, are absolutely perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. A little bit of a tail breeze is coming through the 39, but it's barely even touching the course with all the trees. So no excuses there. Go out at 32, doing the usual. And fingers crossed, we are mission gone. Well, I had to take a minute after my ski set today. Um, another two and a half at 39 and just not quite sure. Worst probably set in a lot of years. So um, we're going to just try forget the skiing on this trip and um, go relax for my birthday. Not the best birthday celebrations, but what can you do? Let's go get a drink. So obviously, even though today wasn't the day for me, um, obviously there were some other great scores. Nate Smith getting a one and a half at 40. Three popped the handle out of two ball. He was very, very, very close to what was looking like to tie or break that record. Brando Caruso from Italy doesn't do many tournaments in the US. A four at 10.25 and a two at 10.25. Then we have Sasha Deshuns, syndicate team skier on his work. So one getting three at 10.25 and three at 41. Again, two rounds out of two. So that's the top three right now. Robert Pagosi Antigas with a three and a two and a half at 41 or 25. It's gonna be an exciting final tomorrow. Unfortunately, I won't be in it, but we'll watch it. Probably gonna put the top three in after this. It was my birthday today, so we had a few drinks, and then I get to do my B final tomorrow, so just a rankings round, but yeah, nothing too important. Let's see the top three tomorrow, and it's gonna be a good final. We are on day three, four, I don't know. It's been a long one. The longest vlog we've done, probably. It is the day of the finals, even though, obviously, unfortunately, we didn't ski how we did. Still, the freshly baked baguette from the bakery or whatever it is that 
cheese that I have no idea what it means. It's just one of the coolest things about this trip. And I'm gonna nosh down on this, go watch the A final, then go ski the B final. So let's go have some fun, let's see what they can put together and let's hope it's a good show. Okay, Dane, 41, good, two rolls. Getting good out of three, he is on this. It's gonna be a four, 41 for Dane. All right, Brando Caruso, 41. Coming in, Dane has the four, good start. Oh, gets the two, is he gonna get across? He gets a piece of four, it's gonna put him in the lead. He turns it, oh! All right, Nate Smith, 41, gets a good one. Comes in, he's good out of three. Is he gonna run it, is he gonna take the win? He is out of four, he is your champion. And gets the six again. All right, here's Nate Smith, 43 off. Let's see what he can do, oh. Okay, Sasha, you finished in fourth place. How do we feel? I'm feeling okay. It's, uh, I'm happy I found a good setup on the on the ski finally. 10-7 uh, are getting good. I'm skiing okay now. I have to understand uh, what's happening at 10-2. <laughs> the same. Talk me through your two ball or your one oh, ball and your two ball. I don't, I don't know. I was all over the place. I went around two. I don't know how. I closed my <laughs> eye and, and <laughs> let's go to three. But no, 10-2 uh, is not uh, was not good. Yeah, I, ski, I, I didn't ski good, but I'm happy with the with the 10-7 uh, consistency. Three. Consistency. Yeah. Three, three, three. Yeah. Good weekend, and um, we'll see you in Botas. Yes, of course. That's fun. Enjoy. Good skiing, man. Congrats. Thank you. We're going to stick around here for the next few days, try practice, and yeah, what can you do apart from take it on as a bit of experience and move on. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you had a good time, and um, oh, something just fell off. And we'll see you guys in the next one.